The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials up 91. You get the Nasdaq up 46. S&Ps are up, uh, where is she, 11 and a half. Uh, gold contract down a buck eighty, trading at one thousand two sixty five an ounce. We have silver up twenty cents at seventeen dollars sixty nine cents an ounce. Platinum is up eight bucks nine forty one an ounce. Uh, Oil is down forty five cents fifty dollars and forty cents a barrel. Notes are off ten four ticks rather at one thirty oh seven. The bonds are off eleven ticks one sixty four fifteen. And it's good old King Dollar, Tom. King Dollar's up 14 ticks, 98,700. And let me tell you, man, King Dollar, you get a confirmed ABC structure up with 100.700 as the target. And when you take a look at King Dollar, folks, okay, this is going to be really bizarre. Uh, if I put this up on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is that that is the top of the range. And right now, if you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see the continuous contract up. If you're not and you're in your car, we're going to explain what we're looking at. So King Dollar's been in this range since March of 2015. The thing, and it's, it's tested it four different times, folks, and hasn't taken it out, okay? So bottom line, we're really not going to, we'll get more information as it's moving up there. Let's put it sure. that way. But if you take this out, folks, if you're in the metals market or in the broad market, you want to watch this like a hawk because guess what there's nothing in between this and 121 where we came down from and that's when sure. i started the gold report you know yes i remember and bottom line that is going to be a dangerous situation as we come up to it um if you haven't test drove the nadex platform yet folks great time to do it come over to our website at tfnn you're going to see the banner on the top of the side you can hit the banner bring up the platform They'll put $25,000 paper money into your account, and you can see how these defined option contracts trade. Um, you doing some trading this morning? So Why not, right? Of as, course, that's as, what we're here for. As, that's, that's right. As we're going through this, uh, bottom line is that, yes, I sold gold You're looking for that strong dollar. Same deal, right? That, this is what's so wild, folks, right now about the, the correlation inside the dollar. And, you know, we were talking about this Thursday and Friday, too. When I've seen this in the past, that the metals market and the broad market doesn't move and you get a fast move in the currencies, it like it seems like it comes out of nowhere. I was reading your letters this morning. Yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. just does. And it's like, you know what, man? So when this thing popped this morning, I sold it. That's um, nice, man. It's a nice trade. You, you we'll know. see how it works out, but that's a nice right. trade. I was looking at it. It seems about 845. Yeah. Let's see where. No, I didn't get it that high because I got... That's yeah. Numbers, I, numbers I, don't lie. I guess I did. Okay, right. <laughs> um, so, and, and, and that correlation, because it, it, it spiked a little, only a dollar higher. Maybe that's right. what you were thinking right. is that, you know, you got in it literally here right. and you had a good 10 minutes and, and I was fighting a little and bit. And I needed the test. And, and what had happened there. About um, 945 was where it started to cascade. Right, right. And hey, let me show you two things. In fact, one Just of the, one of the target, targets in the den right now are talking about Franco Nevada. When I was doing the gold report over the weekend, Sunday night, last night actually, um, so Franco Nevada folks and Royal Gold most of the time give you a really good indication of where the gold market wants to go, right? Sure. So Royal Gold, I was looking at Royal Gold, I'm saying to myself, this doesn't make, well, it makes sense if in fact Gold. That's because they're royalty companies. They're both they're, royalty companies. So they're really companies. just trading off of like the price of. Well, they, 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 they no, they operate pretty, after, yeah, the, yeah, after price more of so gold. than you know a producer that has cost and etc. Where they're just literally reaping rewards on the price of gold. Yes, yeah. exactly. And you know, I was royal gold. It's like, hold it, man. It, this thing looks like it's going to be an ABC down. It's like this is not good looking, <laughs> right? No, no, definitely not good. And looking. now we'll go no. look at Franco Nevada because one of the tigers in the den is saying Franco Nevada. You see, Franco Nevada is giving it back too. Sure. 
So that's that's an indication that uh, this correction is not over yet. Um, so you better hold on uh, in, in a big way because when you have failures like this, uh, it's pretty serious business. And what does happen is that commodities are priced in dollars, period. End of story. Sure. I mean, yes. I, when you go to the fundamental deal of it, that's it. You know, well, and, they're, they're, they're priced in dollars, especially for us. They're priced in dollars. You know, and that's what you're trading in, just to put it in perspective. You know, it's, it's right. In, right. Yeah. Right. For, well, even the world. If yeah. You, if right. If, if you have right. a mine somewhere else, you're sure. getting paid dollars, right. which, which is great, okay? Uh, but it's not great when someone's trying to buy overseas, yes. you know, because it's more expensive. What does happen, and what you do want to do if you're in these markets, though, is that you do want to go over to South Africa early, go look at what their gold stocks are doing, because that's free on the South Johannesburg Exchange. What happened this morning in the FTSE, the FTSE was really interesting, because the FTSE has a couple of good gold stocks, too. They were down, they went flat, and then they went down again okay. before our markets opened. Sure. So that's where that trade come off of. More than, you know what I mean? It was yeah. like, okay, you know, what would you... It, no, it's a nice. I was just going to mm -hmm. pull it up so, to put it the the spread you went for fifty dollars. So that's going to be like a five hundred dollar pie, right? You know, yeah. In terms the of, risk risk the reward is pretty good. Yeah, and so you can see that you know, let's find that eight forty five bar, which are, yeah, it's right here. So literally twelve seventy one twenty eight. It was trading at about, and you can see that you got in at about sixty eight. Seven, so you're paying two and a half points, three points. What did I say? 1271, so three points, um, which is really nice. So, so, so that'd be like risking 60 with a max profit of 540, right? No, 440. 440. Yeah, right. so I'm only paying a I few don't, dollars. I don't expect premium. to get all that, but you know, you we'll stay see. right there, folks. Tell me that I come right back. Larry Pesavento has just announced a special offer for subscribers to his trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Right now, you can get a month of Larry's Fibonacci 24-7 while gaining access to his upcoming live webinar, The Pattern That H.M. Gartley Missed, taking place Wednesday, October 26th. This live workshop will be archived for subscribers if you cannot attend live. And if you order right now, we'll also send you a copy of Larry's book, A Trader's Guide to Financial Astrology. This book retails for $90, but we'll send it to you as part of this special offer that runs through the night of the workshop, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now and get a free copy of Larry's book, a month of his Fibonacci 24-7 trading service, and a live workshop on the pattern that H.M. Gartley missed. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, this is an offer that you can't let pass you by. Sign up today for Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 86. You get the NASDAQ up 47. S&Ps are up 11. And as you come over to our website at TFNN, folks, you're going to see right on the top of the carousel the patent that H.M. Gartley missed. A man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, is going to be doing a workshop on this uh, Wednesday night. October 26th, it's hard to Wednesday believe. Wednesday night, I know. I was doing newsletters, editing, and, you know, today I said to myself, man, it's October 24th. I couldn't, I did. I had that, you know, same deal. It is. Unreal. It is. Unreal. Um, yeah, so he's doing a workshop, the pattern that H.M. Gartley missed, Wednesday night. So we've been talking about it a lot, of course, with the book deal going on, which yes. ends Wednesday night as well. So that's your opportunity until Wednesday to get a free book, Larry's book, right. um, Trader's Guide to Financial Astrology that he wrote with Shane, his buddy that's been on this yes. show many times. And so we've been talking about the book, of course, a lot, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry just had an awesome newsletter. That's another one that I went through this morning, edited, got it out early. Um, and you would have got his chats all day yesterday and all last night. Right, for sure. When I was doing the gold report. For sure. He was up trading. <laughs> He's, he, was, he was an active guy this weekend. <laughs> he was. He was. Um, so, and of course, and then just the workshop that he's going to be doing, which is the 135 pattern, yeah. which has all the details here. Um, $97 a month. You can money back guarantee, and you get the book, you get the workshop, you get the newsletter, and he's always sending great charts. Andy just had a brand new newsletter come out this morning for so his weekly. Check it out right on the front page of TFNN, folks. The, uh, so let's go inside because we get a big week. We got, yeah. you got, what's going to happen, folks, you got Apple that's coming out with numbers uh, Tuesday, I believe. Yep. yep. Today is 24th. At 4.30, though. So at 4.30, you're not going to be able to take advantage of the Nadex platform yep. in order to trade both sides of the marketplace, sure. okay? With their products, 4.15. Yes. Um, now, that being said, though, guess what? On Thursday, we have Amazon. That's saying they're coming out at one past four. And then we get Google, who normally comes out like a split second, or it's a hundredth or a thousandth of a second right. past four. Hit the button. Hit the button. And in both cases, uh, what's going to get intriguing here is that they both look to me like, you know, they want to go higher. Can so, you go to the description of Google, too? Yes. Did, did you, just to see where it says. Okay, so just as after. This is that, that's yeah. they, I remember they do. They come out yeah. instantly. Um, so in that case, what happens, folks, is that, um, so picture the... That's Thursday. Okay. That's Thursday. That's okay. So what you, what you have is that you have um, the spreads and the binaries sure. uh, open till quarter past four. They are. You can put that trade on at one minute you can. of four. You definitely. And, you know, bottom line is that depending on... I would be careful how close you cut it because the market's going to disappear, right? Especially if there's news about to drop like within 15 seconds. Yeah. Or just to put it, you know no, what no. I mean? No, no, there's no doubt. Because when that so market does four, drop, it right. disappears for about right. 30 seconds. What Tommy's talking about, one side of the, the bid or the off has got to come off. Yeah, and they're just yeah. going to, you know, right. look they, at the news can, themselves. They're going to wait for it to come and up. And wait for the bid. Then, right. Yeah, and then. Right. Uh, let's go to Paul in San Jose. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Hey, guys, what's happening? Hey, How you Paul? doing, man? You guys have a great weekend? Yes, we did. I did. How about you? It was pretty good, man. The weather out here in California, you know, it's similar to Florida. I mean, the weather is always nice. Out we here. had a crazy nice area. weekend in terms of weather, actually, for yeah. us. It was the first kind of really cool weekend for us. Yeah, 75, 78. Like it's for like the highs, insane, which is, right. for, for, for us, a nice That's reprieve. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Totally. That's awesome. Hey, um, I wanted to ask you guys about these steel stocks. I'm actually taking a look at MTL in relationship to the dollar because these steel stocks have been on quite a run. Um, I jumped in this MTL at a little over three bucks. Yep. And um, it looks like today's the day to take the bread. I just wanted to get your opinion on this. This is amazing. What, what could be going on with these things? <clears throat> All right, listen, we own U.S. Steel. I know what you're saying, man. But and, and yeah, I'll go through this. First, it's an ABC up. So 154 is your A. Conservatively, quite a six months. Yep. Two ninety. So let's say one six. It's a buck thirty, which gives and you. It's hitting the juice today already as well. Three. Yeah, it's above it. 
Yeah, that's three ninety. It's like four bucks. So this is kind of dangerous, actually. He was just doing the ABC, and four dollars would be yeah, four dollars your, your ABC, kinda. man. So now we took out all of this. This is amazing, actually. Yeah. So he took out three seventy six. It's looking at March of two thousand fifteen last yeah. year. Yeah. Wow. That's a good trade, man. Yeah, this is huge, Thank man. You. This is huge. These things have all been running. These still AKS. Yeah. Uh, oh, they have. No, yeah. they have. What happened is this. Okay, so watch. If you go over to Val, this is the largest iron ore producer. And you can see this thing came in, too. So what's happening yeah. is that something's going on in the steel business that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this broke top side, has the volume behind the move. Um, I'd, I'd probably take some bread on that trade, you know, because it's extended in a big way, and it's always dangerous staying in an ABC structure up when you've already extended the full 1%, I mean, one-to-one, -one, and, you know, yeah, you can get a one to 1.618, yes, you can, but you're getting even close to that, I think. It's, uh, <laughs> so... Yeah, when it got up today, I figured today was a good day to uh, take some of that money off the table. I just wanted to get your guys' look on the uh, the steel stocks in relationship to the dollar because they're not kind of, you know. I think the, the deal, the, good, but, I would say that the deal is, okay, so China runs the commodity business, okay, because China's still growing exponentially. And the bulls and bears are fighting over in China like in an incredible way as to, Real estate as to, okay, are there too many places or are there not enough places, right? My take on that is that there's not enough places. Um, because what has happened is that, yeah, they have cities that are in the middle of nowhere that supposedly people aren't living. Well, give it another six months and they'll be filled up. The cities <laughs> where people are living, um, bottom line is that they're going up exponentially. And when you, when you, oh, look, at, when you look at the amount of people that are in China, guess what? <laughs> sure. There's only so much land, sure. you know? So they're, they're building, man. And they're, they, when they build, they need steel. And when they build, they need copper. The, so check this out, folks. This is a trip. That, now, the copper market is at lows, but yet Southern Copper stopped moving. So when I saw m copper moving and iron ore moving last week, I'm saying to myself, that, that's China. You know, and copper, so the copper market, the, the actual physical copper market still looks like it wants to go to 206. But that's saying that someone's buying, you know, those, those equities, man. So The building is insane. I'll tell you what, around here in the Bay Area, they are building just, there's not one open space anywhere. I mean, housing, whatever you, everything is going up like crazy. It's, the traffic has just increased by 70% uh, over the past couple of years. It's just absolutely nuts. Oh, yeah. Well, you are, you are in the epicenter of the whole United States, there's no doubt. You, I mean, between what? San Jose, between Seattle, um, who are else out there? They, oh, Portland. Those places there are just on fire because, you know, your pay grade is so high out there, man. I mean, and then, unfortunately, you get to spend a million dollars for a closet, too. So <laughs> there goes the pay grade. But, you know, it's that's the way it is. It is what it is, that's right? It's some beautiful is, weather, at least. They, no, there's no doubt. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for taking my call, guys. Have a great day. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is up 85. Nasdaq's up 46. S&P's are up 11. We're going to break back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. 
Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is up 74. You get the NASDAQ up 43. S&Ps are up 10. And if you haven't test drove the NADX platform, folks, great time to do it. Great week to do it. I mean, it's just... Oh, for sure. You know, uh, because, because... you could trade, you know, um, those indices on that news Wednesday yes. ahead of it. Right. You know, in, in terms of a weekly binary. Um, let's take a look at those. That's what I was going to... So even, you know, with gold, with all of those, they have binaries... Um, but let's take a look at some of the indices. Sorry. NASDAQ 100. Yeah. For the weekly. Right now we're at about 48.88. Because, you know, what could be nice is maybe you get the movement you want ahead of time. Which would be great. And you could just take your money if you wanted to. And if well, you don't get the movement, you open yourself up to the volatility with what? a defined risk trade that maybe the news comes in either way on the earnings, which will spike this in your in your direction. What I would like to see if 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 I was going to sell it is I'd like to see the NDX 100 and the Nasdaq Composite over its highs, light volume, and then they're coming out with their numbers. Okay, um, that'd be one way I'd, I'd sell. The other way is that I would let. And now watch this one. This one gets interesting. You could let them come out with their numbers, right? Let's say the market's moving sure. up. You let them come out with their numbers, folks, right? They get great numbers, right? They explode higher, right? Then, before the open, you sure. you sell the weekly. And out of the money binary I, it, it, beneath it. Yeah, right? No, yeah. It, short. It, yes, exactly. No, if they explode exactly. higher, yes. So, so that we're going to have a lot of different variations yeah. that you can, you know, get your head wrapped around. And if you're a bull, guess what? Before they're coming out, you want to be buying. And I very well may be buying. This is the way it's going to get wild. No, I, I may be on both <laughs> sides of it. Okay. Before, I'd like to be on both sides of it before they come out. Sure. At, probably, at five probably or four. Using the spread. Using like the spread. Like we do, sure. Using yeah, the spread. Yeah, that would be, be on both sides of it. Then. It'd be interesting to see what kind of premium they put into this, right? I know. That's what I'm, I'm looking at. I know. And what does happen. Because there's going to be some volatility for the final 15 minutes. Anybody would know there that. There is. Because there's got to be other people on the other side of that trade. And, and man. They better be paying you some premium, and yeah, if you're yeah, going to be on the other side of that yeah. trade, giving somebody four to one um, risk yeah. reward, no doubt. Yeah. And what that happens is that 
like the last time that I, I think I've done this twice. And the last time I did, I did it, what happened is that I forget whether it's Google was positive, Amazon was yeah, negative. They did. They and they, 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 a little bit. But I didn't lose any money. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Right. If they both go the same yeah. way, though, you're going to be in action. That's sure. that, that, you know. And the tough part about that day, and I remember you trading that, was that let's say you were bullish. I forget right. which one. And one came out and popped higher. Right. Let's say Amazon and Google right. came out and it popped lower. The shame was that by the next morning, right, whatever one was down I know. Had, had rebounded huge. And it was one of those it where did. both of them actually were huge. In it, your, it, but did. It, it, it did. It did. That's why you're paying no premium, though, because you got to be right within 15 minutes. Right. Right. There you go. No doubt. Yeah. 877-927-6648. So just taking a look real quick. Um, you know, it's not bad when you look 49.22. You okay. could be risking 30 to make 70. Um, that's only, you're talking 30, 30 points. Um on the NASDAQ for five trading days that you're definitely going to see some volume and volatility on Wednesday, right. you know, to the upside. And then... That's not, man. No, and then looking on the downside, and here's what is interesting. So on the downside, you got to go 40 points to the downside. Okay. To get the same risk-reward. You'd be selling it at 70. So check that out. There's definitely some... Downside Down bias. bias there. Yeah, they're making you pay up for the downside. For sure. That's good to um, know. It is. Yeah. It is. And you know what? I mean, you just explained, you know, probably the reason why prior to going over that, where it's like we're at highs, right. the risk reward probability of a move. I'm not sure, but it's in there for a reason. And the what will happen is that the uh, aspect of uh, how uh, good old Apple, you know. Yeah. And they're in there, too. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, I mean, that's not. You That's know, in the mix tomorrow. 30 points to the upside, 40 points to the downside. You're talking about, you know, 48 points would be a 1% move. So so both of them are definitely within the realm. They are. Well, yeah. if, if we look at... I mean, you could theoretically then, you know, you look at... The Nasdaq's already down a point eight, eight tenths of a percent move today. Right. And it was actually higher. So. And it's 44 points. That's, right. that's That exceeds both of those points. Right. Exactly. Right. Um, inside the Dow, let's take a look at what the strength versus the weakness. Uh, inside the Dow, you have uh, Boeing is the leader. That's up 2%. 3M's up 1.4. Microsoft's up 1.3. United Technologies up 9 tenths. Uh, taken away from it is Big Mac, 8 tenths down. UNH is 4 tenths down. Inside the NDX 100. T-Mobile, oh yeah, they, they're getting some subscribers, man. Okay. T-Mobile's up 6.8%. NVIDIA's up 2.6, Semantic's up 2.6, and uh, Norwegian Cruises Line's up 2.5. Taken away from it, Vertex Pharmaceuticals is off 1.8. Share is down 1.2, so both of those are pharmaceuticals. Um, and did you see the uh, good old Ma Bell wants to buy Time Warner? I know. That's pretty wild, man. Yeah. That's... I haven't, I haven't begun to read about the implications of that. They, they, it's a little they, bit worrisome, it seems, they, think because about this. I already have massive problems with so, my cable company. So, so wa um, watch this, too. That uh, So, Ma Bell is down 52 cents. AT&T. Yeah, the bliss time one. Let's see. TW, which, let's see. I'm not sure. That, that, no. Just type in Time Warner. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Type in Space or Time right there. No. TWX. Okay. So watch this. The buyout's at 100 bucks, but the market's not saying that. The market, oh, this is pretty wild, well, they, too. The yeah, market on Friday. He's going to have a few regulatory huge, <laughs> meetings yeah, to attend huge. to yeah. <laughs> at the, a very the, minimum. The market folks had gone to Friday up to $94. I mean, in the political climate, too, with just what they're dealing with. You know what I mean? In terms of everything, oh, yeah. where it's like Wells Fargo just had that huge problem, you know, just public sentiment of just big business, not huge. able to handle things. That's right. that's going to come into play in this right. type of a merger. And monopolies. That's, the that's, whole deal, yeah. right. Well, that that right. Wells Fargo deal is in people's mind, and it's a similar akin deal where you just see businesses so big that the customers are taking the grunt of it. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it seems too, folks, okay, this is where this, you know, I'm going to bring us back to the dollar and the gold market, the metals market, and all of this. The amount of deals that are getting done, it seems these large companies, and I agree with them, they know that this ain't going to go on forever. And this is, 
get okay. as many assets as you can sure. right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, with interest rates. Right? Yeah. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Okay, because guess what? This is, you know. It's finance everything. It's, see, it's the exact, it yeah. seems like inflation's not out here, but inflation's out here, man. I mean. Well, look, for, even know. from a risk reward, right? How low can they go when you're that close, et cetera? No, totally. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure who. Is that is YM? Let's go to our caller. Who do we have? Jim? Uh, Jim, Tim and, Tim and, uh, Jim Tim in Cleveland. Cleveland. Hey, Jim. How's it going? Yeah. This is Tim in Cleveland. Tim, just, there uh, we Tim, go. What's we got that. Brother? Okay. How you doing? All right. Just uh, wanted to touch base here real quick about uh, Twitter. I came in around uh, 1788, and it's been kind of all over the map, and rumors have been going all over the place. Uh, I thought maybe you might have a take on it. So let's take a look at Twitter. Um, yeah, stay right there. Twitter had a sign of strength on Friday. That was, you know, that came out of nowhere. Uh, 130. It just took off from 1674 to 1835. You stay right there. We'll be coming right back. Okay. 877-927-6648. Dow right now uh, is up 86. NASDAQ's up 44. S&P's up 10. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 84. You get the Nasdaq up 43. S&Ps are up 10. We get uh, Tim from Cleveland. We're talking about uh, Twitter, TWTR. So, you know, you ha you got a sign of strength um, on Friday, Tim. Uh, do you own this? You're looking to buy it? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm in it around 1788. Okay. So, I mean, I'd stay right there. 
you know, um, it looks to me like it's going to try to build some cars, at least get to 1960. Hmm. You know, it, it doesn't mean, and this is going to be a news deal. Well, two, two different things end up happening. Twitter went from $25, folks, and in two days it was back down to where it started from a 1693. When you get something like that, most of the time you're going to get a bounce. Then what happened, instead of bouncing up, Twitter got smoked again. But guess what? It didn't break its lowest swing point of 1569. That was a positive. So it's like, okay. I mean, they could just, you know, I, I suspect we're going to get that maybe higher. Um, and where that's going to come from is that when I saw all the, the merges this morning, you know, it's like, okay. You know, you're talking, you're talking, Ma Bell was coming after um, Time Warner when what they wanted, they, d they didn't want their TV, but they had to buy it. Okay. But their library is worth the fortune. Okay. Okay. And they want it for mobile. <laughs> so it's like, if they want that for mobile, I said, well, guess what? Someone's going to want Twitter. Sure. Because they're paying up for it. They're, they're, that, if, if you were an analyst, this is like a full valuation for an analyst at a hundred bucks for okay. time one. I mean, yeah. it's 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 that. Yeah. Well, actually, what was it? TW um, TWX TWX. So, yeah, just let me just show you some. So, so yeah, look at this. So at at eighty seven dollars, oh no, this, yeah, at eighty seven dollars, you're paying seventeen times sure. earnings. So at a hundred, yeah. man, you, I mean, you're paying up for it, man. Yeah. You know, you're paying like twenty, twenty-one dollars for every dollar of earnings, yeah. which is at the high end of, you know. Sure. So, sure. That's kind of where that goes. Now, the what I would watch like a hawk, Tim, is this: is that the twenty-seventh? That's Thursday. That is. They're, they're, After yeah. market, they come out with their earnings. So you got to make a choice there before that. <laughs> You know, and that just the, the night yeah, before, no, for sure. it's going to be open yourself up whether to you're going to stay in or not. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hey, I wonder if you got a moment for First Solar. FSLR. Yeah. That's that's been a kind of a bit of a jump here recently, and I didn't know whether I missed the boat on that or. No, you didn't miss the boat. That hasn't done anything. Okay. That so this is what the difference is here. You have not even, like, a dead cat bounce could get this up to ice, which is uh, 4681. It hasn't done anything. Okay. Yeah. Let me just pull this back a little just so I can look at it. Yeah, see, th these, are, these are always dangerous. This is, so, yeah, f f actually 4486 on the weekly is ice. And all that means is that you broke down. It's crawling back up to that level, and that's a normal bounce in a market that, you know, still wants lower price. The August 12th weekly bar. Yes, yeah. right, right. Do you see something might be a good entry point? No. Don't no? touch the stock. Okay. This is, a, this is a one way trade, man. In fact, I can make a case that the stock is going to, and it's, this is what I'm doing, Tim. When it broke down the week of uh, August 12th, you can take the lows of that, which is 39. You take the highs of it, which is 74. What's that? Uh, 35. 35. Guess what? That's a four-dollar stock. Oh wow! <laughs> On a long-term basis, that's that's the, and well, here let's see what, what is this number here? That's 11 dollars. So no, I wouldn't be touching it, man. Okay. Okay. Hey, a, thanks a lot. I, I enjoyed, by the way, your your gold uh, report. That that's uh, that's some really good stuff you got in there. Thank you. I appreciate the business, man. Hey, do, do you ever short in that uh, gold report? No. No? Okay. No, did you email me? This is what ends up happening, okay? So, be, I won't go short in the gold report. The reason being is that when you're trading, like I, I trade the dust, I trade the nugget, I go long and short intraday, okay? Okay. What happens is that the gold report is a long-term investment vehicle. So, it's waiting, waiting, waiting. You try to get in, you move it out because it's too dangerous and I don't know who the clients are. I mean, I know who the sure. clients are because I've had them for long, but I wouldn't put someone in that position. It's not the position to be in. It's a different I understand. Thing. That's it, great. it is, yeah. 
Okay. Okay, man. Have Thank a, you, sir. Have a Thank great you. one. Have a safe one. Mm -hmm. It's Dow. Well, you know the Nasdaq's holding up. So then the the Dow gave it gave back like a 60, 70 points. Let's check in on your gold trade. I know. It's yeah, the, not bad. Just no. run right there. And I just what I just said to Tommy, folks, what happens with the gold trade right here? If if this thing cracks twelve sixty two, it'll be a twelve fifty two in a heartbeat. Because there's nothing, you know, that the first time down. It's been that's the the range that it's in right now. Um, you know, so we'll see where that uh, shakes out. Yeah, you're looking like these levels right here. I am. Yeah. I kept bouncing off and bouncing off them. But what, what, so what does happen is this. As we start approaching um, 1.30 this afternoon, that's where there'll be more pressure coming in, or there could be more pressure coming in, because what ends up happening is that that was a nice bar going topside. So people would have <laughs> bought that bar. Yeah. Okay? What happened... And when that happens, folks, is that as the pit is closing, there's people that are long, and they're going to make a choice. Am I going to close this out? They're hoping, you know, that sure. it, it bounces before that. And if it doesn't bounce before that, you'll get more pressure just from people that are in the market. Because, like, if I was long then, it would have been like, oh, no. Do oh, I really want to lose $1,000 overnight? Because right. one contract, folks, 10 bucks is 1000 thousand bucks. Okay. You know, so yeah. if... If you just made a lot of money, it'd be one thing. If 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 you haven't, <laughs> yeah, then right. it'd be like, would, okay, yeah. you know, I'd rather take a hit and not worry kinda, about that overnight. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Particularly, I mean, if you were long, that wouldn't have been your plan, right? Where gold just tanks no. at the market. So I'm just, you no, know, yeah, no maybe way. you just walk away. No and, way. Yeah. P particularly when you have an aspect that that's a major failure because it was so cool. Yeah. But and I've talked about this a lot. It didn't take out a swing point. Yeah. There's something about if they if you can't get to a swing point and take it out, that's that's not where the action is. You sure. know what I mean? Sure. All those those the, the decisions seem to be made at those floors, you sure. know? So they're walking up the stairs, ran up the stairs, and then turned around halfway up. <laughs> said, Uh oh, I forgot my car keys. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh sad. Let's Let's take a look at some of the higher volume stocks in this market. I, I expect what you're going to see out here today, too, folks. Compared to Friday, you're going to get a bounce, and it's going to be on lighter volume. Um, oh, yeah, BE Aerospace. That's getting taken over, too. That's up $7.90. Um, Time One is down 2 bucks. That must be blowing people's minds. Wells Fargo is up $0.35. Cents. You stay right there, folks. Um, we're going to be coming right back. And, of course, a uh, man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be coming up uh, at 11 o'clock with you. TD Ameritrade, think or swim. Oh, and TD Ameritrade, guess what, folks? We're going to have a lot more traders. They bought uh, Scott Trade today. Okay. Yeah, huge. Nice. We'll be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin, as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 81. The Nasdaq's up 45. S&Ps are up 10. And don't forget, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the Nadex banner on the top of the side. You can hit that banner, bring up the exchange. They'll put $25,000 into your demonstration account, your demo account. And um, as we do this each and every morning, of course, you can go along with us. Uh, this is going to be a nice week to really understand how these contracts move. Uh, because the currencies are moving in a big way, the earnings are coming out, <laughs> merges, week, merges sure. are taking place. Yeah, you know, it's like okay. So you pulled it up during the break too. TD Ameritrade's buying Scott Trade for it looks like four billion dollars. Four billion for sure. Yeah, you know. So we're gonna be Pretty cool. And of course, uh, free money everywhere. Yeah. Why not? And you know, uh, the noon show that's just gonna bring more folks into more the, traders, more Gotta traders into the. the TD uh, Swim Lessons, Swim Lessons uh, 12 o'clock show with our man Kevin Hanks, Scott Connor. Um, bottom line, the Tiger family, it's a beautiful thing. You got it. It's pretty intense, actually. It's like, man, oh, man. That's that's going to be... I know what I was it's looking... Scott Trade, I think, had a billion dollars in revenue in 2015. Is that what it said? Yeah. Okay. Because I know TD Ameritrade does an average... Not sure how many trades average, that translates to. Yeah, we'll find out. They, TD Ameritrade does an average of 466,000 trades a day. I would love to see that number if you're going to go that details, but go well, ahead. That's, that's what it was on. Oh, okay, four six four hundred sixty six thousand. These yeah. numbers, folks, he gets them all. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. What it was. We're going to pull that up right after the show. Four hundred sixty six thousand. Four, he'll he'll <laughs> let you know this afternoon whether it's four sixty six. Right after. Beautiful thing. Perfect. Totally. So uh, the the market out here today is going to be intriguing to see. Um, I, I suspect it's going to hold. Um, you know, it sold off uh, slightly on the way down. The dollar is going to wreck havoc. I figure. But bottom line is that uh, these NQs, they still want higher price. Um, and if we go take a look at it, um, I believe the NQs probably made a high. Let's see. So we hit uh, 48.93. No, we haven't. No, we haven't made a high yet. Because it's, it's 49.04, yep. I believe. 49.01? Yeah, 49.04. 490150. Oh. Yes. But the way, this is what's really important, the way that this bar is shaping up, folks, do not, I wouldn't be shot in the NASDAQ, man. I wouldn't be touching it. This thing is going to blow sky high. That's what <laughs> it looks like. Seriously. And that, there's the divergence, too, in the marketplace, okay? Um, meaning, I don't think the S&P is going to make it, or the Dow is going to make it, and that would be about as deviant as you could get. Yeah, I mean, you know, those huge tech companies in the NASDAQ, <laughs> they could be a different game. They're controlling the Every, select few everything. are really... Gangbusters! Oh, did you see 60 Minutes last night? I did. What, did what, uh, on the on the Millennium on the the influencers. The, the influencers. Yes. Oh man, that was Gotta good. Gotta love it. Yeah. That was the influencers. That, and I and I've watched Olivia, you know, on sure. YouTube. But I, I knew there was money, but not the kind of money they were talking last night. Oh, it makes sense. I mean, you get millions of Mil yeah. eyes and millions of eyes, and that's that, all advertising is paying for. So it, exactly, exactly. And the uh, and people certainly aren't. 
They're, they're overpaying for TV most of the time now. I'm sure. Yeah. But, and just straight away because of the DVR and TiVo, I think. Right. So many commercials don't get watched. No, and, yeah. and everything's on demand. Not right. everything, but you yep. watch a lot of things yes, on demand, sure. right? There's no doubt about that. Do you know what I mean? For sure. So let's go look at the composite. So the composite is at uh, 53. Well, we hit 53.06. Yeah, we're at highs right now. This wants to blow through that. 53.42. Hey, the yin and the yang is going to be out there. The yin is going to be tomorrow with Apple. The yang is going to be on Thursday. Apple, Google, Amazon. Yeah. Amazon, the king, the king of retail. You stay right there, folks. I mean, Mr. Basil Chapman is going to be coming up next. And, of course, then we're going to uh, Think of Swim headquarters. And, of course, they're going to be all happy because, uh, thank God, that we want Chicago to win, too. There we go. Go Thanks, Cubbies. Pal. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking to you this afternoon. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.